right guys, thanks for stopping by. So we have a long overdue haul video. I filmed this already before I went on hiatus. Uh, I had filmed this video, but I did not like the con I didn't like the quality of the video, so I did not put it up obviously, and I didn't have time to refilm it, so I am refilming it now. This is like I said, an overdue haul. It's polishes that I've purchased. Um, I think I've got some stuff in here from November, so I'm thinking it's probably late fall into kind of now. Um, I have really reined in my shopping within the last couple months. I haven't really been purchasing a whole lot, so most of what you're going to see here is um, mostly from fall, like November into December. Um, starting in January, I really just didn't, I haven't, I've really been trying to focus on thinking before I hit that that buy button. I'm just thinking to myself, you know, do you have a similar polish? Um, you know, just kind of, you know, thinking twice before I hit that send button, before I hit that purchase button and just trying to, you know, be a little bit more conscious about how much I'm spending on polish. So like I said, these are mostly from the fall and winter. So we're going to talk about them. Um, there's still quite a few to go over. If you have not uh, visited me before in a haul video, this is basically a bunch of, um, my hauls are basically untried polishes, polishes that I've purchased up to this point that I have not worn. So they're, because there's no way I would be able to show you all of the polishes that I've purchased. And I don't want to be repetitive. If I've shown you the polish already in, excuse me, <clears throat> If I've already showed you the polish in one of my like weekly, monthly manis, I'm not going to show it here just because I don't want to repeat myself and make these videos any longer than they need to be. So let's go ahead and jump in. Um, I'm going to try, I'm not going to be able to do these in any order, like purchasing order, but I will start with some of the older polishes that I have here. Um, this, these are some of the oldest. These are from November's Polish Pickup. Um, I feel like this was probably the last polish pickup that I purchased from um, because I don't see any here and I can't recall purchasing any in the last couple months. I don't know why. I've just been very uninspired about the polishes. Um, I've been trying to make it a habit of not, you know, I can see the, some of the polishes coming up on my Instagram feed, but for the most part, I don't go on the polish pickup website until the night before. And I just basically scroll down the list. And if something catches my eye, I'll click on it, but I don't spend it over, um, I don't spend a whole lot of time on the website just because I don't want to talk myself into buying polishes per se. So I just run down the website. I look at all the pictures. If something, you know, if I, something catches my eye going down the list, I'll click on it, read about it a little bit more, look at swatches. But I'm trying, like I said, I'm trying to be a little bit more conscious about purchasing polishes. So I'm trying not to like go out. I guess I'm not going out of my way to like look at each one and, and stuff like that. So it's really just if my heart, if my heart tells me to stop, I'll stop. But the last couple months I haven't purchased from Polish Pickup. I don't know why. I just feel like they're getting kind of repetitive and, uh, I don't know. I've just, I have a, ooh, I have a hair in my lip gloss. Okay. So anywho, so this year from, these are from November and November, I want to say was like badass women, I think was that theme. Um, I may have purchased one other one from this set or from this month, but these are the only ones that I have left. So this one was from Level Up Lacquer. This is called Keys to the Fridge. I purchased another Level Up Lacquer a few months um, prior to this polish pickup and they have some really interesting curly mixes. I have yet to wear that other one either. I really need to get on that. Um, but Keys to the Heart is a nice royal purple with um, it's a Crelly mix. So we've got, I think there was some, let's see, looks like orange and looks like orange and blue glitters. And it's a little bit late in the evening. So I don't know how much of that's going to pick up, but, and it is a little bit of a darker base. So we'll see how well those stand out on the darker base. But uh, I've been picking up these level up lacquers because I just think the glitter mixes in them, Crelly mixes are kind of interesting. So that is another one. I definitely need to get these on my <laughs> fingers because I, like I said, I have another one that I have yet to wear. So keys to the fridge. Uh, this one is from Polish for Days. This is felt with the heart. This one's an interesting, um, it looks like it's kind of multi-chrome and I, I apologize. It's been a while since I swatched these, so I can't remember for sure. Um, but I feel like this one is kind of multi-chromey. I don't know how this is going to show up here in the shot. So it's kind of this like gold to kind of 
like this weird like rusty kind of reddish color um so i think this is more of a multi-chrome i feel like i remember there being some type of like hollow but nothing's jumping out at there's a little bit of a sparkle in here but I don't remember it being overly apparent. So I think this is just like a multi-chrome. So um, that again is felt with the heart. And then the other one I picked up is called Unlimited Drive from Kixotic Polish. This was a thermal. Um, this was another, um, this one's not, what is this cat doing? He's out of his mind. Um, this one was not a clear, uh, it's like a black to like that weird kind of like white. It's not like a stark white, but it's still not, it's not translucent. Um, so it's, uh, and here, obviously, you're just going to see it in its cold state, so it's just black. And then it has this, like, interesting shimmer mix that's in there, so you get that little bit of uh, that red shimmer. And then it also has um, some multi-chrome pieces in here that are shifting from purple to blue. I don't know how much of that we're going to pick up here. You can kind of see it there a little bit. So I was a little disappointed in this... Um, when I initially swatched it and I just, uh, it's hasn't really been the time of year to me, year for me to be wearing a black, uh, nail polish. So I have yet to wear this, but I've just been really into black or just any kind of like polished clear. And so this isn't a clear, it's kind of this like weird, like it's white, but it's like kind of not completely opaque. It's kind of interesting. So um, I wasn't initially crazy about it on swatch, so we'll see how it looks once I get it on the nail. But that again is uh, Unlimited Dry from Kixotic Polish. So those are definitely the oldest. Uh, so moving along, this one is one that I have left from the Rogue Lacquer Wilds of Arizona. I think I've worn all, I, have, I don't have part two, I've only got part one. This one is the only one that I have yet to wear from part one, I've worn the other ones. This one's called Red Rock. Red Rock was the one that I was a little hesitant. I almost didn't purchase the whole collection because of this polish. Um, I usually don't go for these like, yellowy kind of nude colors just because they're not really they're not uh really well suited for my skin tone but um we'll see how this one goes i didn't love it on uh but the, the initial swatch it's a little sheer it's uh also got this those uh copper flakies in there which are really pretty but i'm not crazy about the base on this and like I said, it's not super uh, opaque, so we'll see how I feel when I put it on my nails as a manicure, but initially I wasn't crazy about it. So that again is Red Rock. And then another one that's been lingering since the winter time. Uh, this was a uh, exclusive polish to Hypnotic. It is a Cadillacer. Cadillacer's been doing these Hypnotic uh, polish exclusives with the Copper Flakies, and this one is, you would have already seen uh, Autumn Potpourri, which was the brown with copper flakies that I wore um, like late last year. This one is the uh, like Hunter Forest Green with the copper flakies. This one's called Fall of Change. Is that right? Fall of Change. Uh, so didn't get a chance to get this on my nails before the winter, you know, fall time. So um, don't know when I'll get a chance to wear this, but it's a really nice kind of uh, Hunter Green with those copper flakies. Not sure how uh, the flakies are going to stand out on this dark base, but we shall see. I uh, noticed that Hypnotic also had some new exclusives. It was a gray copper flaky from Cadillacer, as well as a really pretty like cerulean blue with copper flakies. I've kind of, like I said, been pulling back on my shopping, so I did not um, purchase either of those. I don't wear a whole lot of grays, so I kind of stopped myself from buying the gray. And then the blue, again, similar to that green color, I'm not... 100% sure how the um, copper flakies are going to show up on the base. I always worry with polishes like that. In the bottle they look really nice but on the nail like the copper flakies get lost a little bit so I've been a little hesitant to purchase that one even though it looks really really pretty. I'm kind of waiting to see if anyone who makes like real swatches show, show a swatch because I feel like the bloggers do such a good job of like showing the polish to the point where I'm like is that what it really looks like in real life? So we'll see once I see some real people pol real people swatches, I might end up going back and buying it. So that is that. Uh, let me move along to, I'll go ahead and do these. So ILMP sent me a, it's, it had been a long time since I purchased some ILMPs. And so I think like late last year, they sent me a coupon for 
like 20 or 30 percent off a purchase and so they roped me in and got me to buy some polishes even though I probably didn't need any um, but I felt I thought that was a really good deal for ILMP polishes so I've already worn one from this set which you would have seen in a monthly mani it was called Rosewater it was a really pretty um, uh, silver like linear hollow with a red shimmer really really pretty these are the other three that I picked up this one is called quicksand this came out I want to say in like a fall like a fall or summer collection last year and I kept eyeing it and I just could not bring myself to buy it because it's this really I always have trouble with these like yellow toned nude colors because I just don't think they're gonna look nice on my skin tone um, so it's this uh, I don't know if it's gonna show up really well here because you can see that the reason I really wanted it is, as you can see here, it's got that really pretty red uh, flash, but the base itself um, is this kind of... Hang on, my husband's calling me. All right, sorry about that. Ugh, so, we were chatting for a few minutes, so I think I'm worried my lighting is going to go down. Okay, so... We've got three things from ILMP. I was just talking about quicksand, so it's got just, it's just got this like weird kind of like mauve base that I don't think you're gonna be able to see here um, from the video, but it's just this like uh, it just has like a slight bit of a yellow undertone to where it like I think it's just gonna clash with my skin tone. I did already swatch this and I don't remember it being too yellow, but I didn't absolutely love it, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I did pick up also Tidal Wave which is um, kind of like this sky blue with a linear hollow. And I think I remember there being, yeah, there's like a pink, kind of like a pinky purple shimmer in here. So uh, let me see. I don't know if it's very, you only catch it in certain lights. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to catch it here. Um, but it does have a linear hollow, which I think you could probably see a little bit. And then uh, I don't know if you're gonna catch that flash that's in there but um I think I may have caught it in the swatch fit in the swatch photo but it just has a uh a nice like pinky purple shimmer in there so that again is tidal wave and then I did pick up another um multi-chrome from them I'm not really sure why I haven't been wearing multi-chromes lately I'm not entirely sure why I fell off the the multi-chrome duochrome bandwagon and I don't know why because I um I de-stashed a bunch of ILMP uh multi-chromes just because I wasn't like uber crazy about them so I picked up this one why I don't know but this one's called masquerade and it's a hollow version so they usually do the same polish in a multi-chrome duochrome version but then they also have a, a hollow version usually um so this one's the hollow version of masquerade and I don't um uh, this one's like a red to gold I feel like uh, it's been so long since I swatched these yeah, I think this is a red to gold, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so there's the red. I don't remember it being that red in the on my fingernail, but so there's that. I don't know. I feel like you might be catching some gold here on the sides, but uh, yeah, I can kind of see some of it there. So like a red to gold multi-chrome, so we'll see when I happen to get this on my nails. I can't tell you the last time I wore a multi-chrome. Um, so there's that, and then I will talk about a couple of these just like random people who don't really have these are just kind of like singles um so i did pick up a fun lacquer from somewhere i don't remember um uh fun lacquer did like a valentine's day collection and they had these like really crazy just like mini not mini uh like micro glitter polishes and so i got one of them this is called crazy in love and this one was really really pretty i was I, for some reason when i looked at these online i don't i didn't realize they were micro glitter um so this does take quite a few coats to get fully opaque but um it, it was very bright and blingy so we'll see uh when i wear this i think i got this after valentine's day so i didn't did a chance i don't know why my focus is being all weird what are you doing focus there we go um so yeah i didn't i don't think i got a chance i would have gotten a chance to wear this during valentine's day but it looks like very uh very blingy and uh glittery so that again is crazy in love and then i did pick up from polish i mentioned in my last monthly manis i picked up their um two like flaky toppers one was a gold flaky which was called goldsmith which i talked about last month um uh, last last monthly manis and this one is the silver flaky topper and this one's called silversmith and uh this one is similar to goldsmith it's just so packed with flakies that 
I don't, I'm not crazy about it. I just think it's too much. Um, so like, I don't know if that's gonna. So there's just like so much flakies on the nail that it just becomes too, uh, how I, how I tried to describe it in the last video was just, it just gives off too many flakies. I think it just needs to be a little bit more sparse of a coverage. So this was kind of similar to Goldsmith, but um, I will try and use it as a mani, as a mani. Maybe I'll throw some extra base in it or maybe wipe my brush off a little bit more because um, I want to like these, but I, uh, I just wasn't crazy about how much flaky was in it, which sounds weird, but that again is a uh, silversmith. I did also pick up a floss gloss recently. Um, this one I feel like is a new one to their collection. This one's called Cherry Ice. And uh, I initially didn't grab it, but then somebody mentioned that they thought it might be a, um, a dupe for Cirque Colors Game Over, which is a neon red that they released like two or three years ago and have not re-released so it's kind of on a lot of people's lemming lists so cherry ice is uh, I did do a feature of this on let me grab game over because I the swatch that I did on Instagram wasn't super great let me show you how it looks here in the video so I think cherry ice is pretty but it doesn't come off as um, as much of a red it comes off a little bit more pink uh, hopefully hopefully you can kind of see that so um, Game Over just has a little bit more orange to it. Now, when I did these um, on Instagram, they did look kind of similar. This is a lot more sheer, um, so it doesn't have as much of like a neon quality to it as I felt like Game Over did. It, come, it just came off, um, I don't know, we'll see. I'll wear it as a manicure and see what I think, but on initial swatch, um, I don't think these are super close. There, you can kind of see that there. I think they're relatively close um, if you wanted something kind of comparable, but they're, the color is just slightly off to where I don't, I wouldn't call these dupes. So um, that again is cherry ice. This was pretty nonetheless, so it'll be nice to wear this um, either like spring, either now or like in the summertime. So that again is cherry ice from Floss Gloss. I did pick up, uh, this was, I did a Cirque polish pick. I picked up some polishes from Cirque um, a couple months ago and they were doing like a buy one or it was like a mystery polish sale. So I picked up one polish. Actually, I think it's the polish that I'm wearing. Um, so I picked up that polish and then this was given to me as the mystery polish and this is called Wanderlust. Um, I was initially, when I opened up the package and I saw this, I was initially kind of just like, Eh, it's okay. Um, but actually when I got this on the nail, I was pleasantly surprised. And it's, and the swatch photo of this, and I even feel like even now this is getting washed out. Um, and I don't know if this is still available or not, but this is like a neon turquoise. Is this turquoise? Yeah. Teal. Teal. I think this is teal. You can correct me if I'm wrong. I get those confused. Um, but it's basically like a neon, uh, it's like a neon, is turquoise? Turquoise is more blue and teal is more green. It's whichever one is, whichever one's more blue is what this is. It's basically like a neon version, which sounds crazy, but this has such a brightness to it that you don't get in the bottle or that you don't get when you look at it in the bottle. So I'm gonna show you a swatch photo here, but I really tried my darndest to get a really close enough shot and none of them like got the color exactly right. Um, but if this is still available on the Cirque Polish website, I would highly recommend it. I was so surprised. I'm usually not into colors like this. Um, they're pretty, but I usually wear them in the summertime, but I was blown away by how much I was, I enjoyed this. And to get this color, you know, kind of neon-esque, I thought was really interesting. So I'm really glad that they ended up putting this in my, um, putting this in my, mystery polish purchase and I think Kendra and uh, Walker from All of That Nails got these and I know Kendra ended up liking it I think I'm not 100% sure if Walker liked it or not but she can comment below if she did but yeah this was a uh, and I don't remember hearing anything about this I don't remember if this came out in the summer collection I would assume it did um, but I was really happy with this so Wanderlust from Cirque and then this is the last of the Zoya uh, pixie dust that I picked up a couple months ago that I have yet to wear this one's called Linz and Linz is just kind of like a cherry red uh, pixie dust so it's gonna dry matte this one has a um, it has a gold uh, glitter as well as a similar cherry red glitter so 
Um, I wasn't crazy about this initially, but as I've mentioned in other videos, when I swatch pixie dust, I don't let them get fully dry just because I'm swatching so many... Uh, I'm just swatching too many polishes to let it dry completely. So um, I think I'm going to like this a little bit more once it's dried completely down because I think that glitter, that especially that gold glitter, I think is going to stand out really nice on the nail. So very uh, happy with that purchase. That is Linz from Zoya. Okay. And then next up, I've got two China Glaze polishes. Uh, this one is the other one that I picked up from the BFF, oh not BFF, the OMG collection. OMG collection. This one is called BFF. And this one is a just kind of like icy purple. And it's got that linear hollow. Um, as with the other one that I purchased from this collection, I'm not super crazy about the finish on these. Uh, I kind of, I, I don't know why I got these. I think I saw a couple swatches of people's and the, the linear hollow looked really nice. And so I caved and bought this one and uh, what's the other one? I can't think of what the other one was. Um, I think I featured it already in a, in a monthly manis, but I wasn't crazy about the linear hollow. So I'm kind of kicking myself in the ass for buying these because I don't like China glaze. I really, really try. I like a couple here and there, but for the most part, I should have just gotten a linear hollow from an indie brand. I feel like I should have assumed that I would have been disappointed in this. So that again is BFF. It's probably going to get de-stashed. So there is that. And then the other one that I picked up is Cinderella. I, I found this on eBay for kind of a stupid price, but I wanted to compare it to another polish that I had in my collection uh, that I got from a polish pickup a couple months ago. And uh, they're kind of close, but I'm kind of glad that I picked this up anyway. Um, I paid a little bit more for this than I probably should have, but I'm kind of glad that I have it in my collection now. Um, I didn't realize it was so limited edition, so it's a really nice just kind of like taupey purple with a really pretty shimmer in it. It's a lot more of a metallic shimmer. Um, it, the, the shimmer's not as like um, granulated, I guess. It comes off a little bit more smoother, so it looks like more of a metallic finish. And the shimmer on it is actually quite nice, so I actually really enjoyed this as a swatch. Don't know when I'll get a chance to put it on my nails, but kind of glad I picked this up, even though I just kind of bitched about China Glaze. I do like a couple of them from time to time, so this one I definitely liked on first swatch. So that again is Cinderella. And then Two pa uh, I think I'm going to round this out by talking about a bunch of tonics that I picked up. Uh, two of them I picked up um, a little bit earlier in the fall time and I just didn't get a chance to wear. This one came out in one of the fall kind of Halloween collections. It's called Red Right Hand. It's just a nice kind of like concrete gray with a really cool red shimmer. And I think the shimmer, yes, the shimmer is multi, uh, I keep, I always interchange those. It's this shimmer in here is duochrome. So the shimmer I just showed you is like a red, uh, it's like a red, but in the bottle here it is shifting to like a greenish gold, but I don't remember that showing up on the nail. I feel like I mostly just saw the red. Um, I didn't get a chance to wear this. I have a really hard time wearing grays, but I just couldn't pass this one up. I thought that shimmer looked really pretty. So that again, red right hand. Another one I picked up recently is Titanium Orchid. I think I've passed this one a couple times. Every time they do a restock, I always see this one. And I always think it's pretty, but I never actually bite the bullet and buy it. So I decided to go ahead and do that. It's similar to Lanyap, which I featured in a monthly manis a couple months ago. Um, they're kind of similar, but not quite. This one has more of a uh, duochrome type finish, but the color is a little, is kind of similar. Um, so this one is kind of this like royal purple color and it's kind of multi-chrome. Um, so it shifts from this kind of uh, royal purple color that you see here. There, there is some kind of warmer purple, which you can kind of see on the sides there. Um, and then it also has a really nice uh, scattered hollow that runs through that. So very pretty, I'm interested. Uh, I'll probably de-stash either this one or Lanyap because I didn't realize they were so close. Um, so I probably, I haven't worn this one obviously because I'm featuring it here, but once I do, I think I may get, one, get rid of one or the other. Um, we'll see. So that again, uh, Titanium Orchid. This one I picked up several months ago. I saw somebody, uh, I saw a swatch of it on somebody and I was, I was blown away by it. So this one is Sapphire. Uh, Sapphire is a beautiful kind of just like navy midnight, uh, metallic, uh, metallic polish. 
so pretty. I usually am not into these like indigo kind of like midnight blue colors, but I threw this on my nail as a swatch and I was just like, my mouth dropped. Um, something about this metallic was so glowy, so beautiful on the nail. And for being such a dark color, the fact that the metallic was so just vibrant and glowy, I was just dumbfounded when I had it on my nail as a swatch. Um, unfortunately, I did not get a chance to wear this in the winter time, so I probably won't get a chance to wear it until next winter. Um, but I just, I thought this was so, so, so pretty. So Sapphire from Tonic. And then the last three, I'm kind of kicking myself in the ass for buying because I don't know why I bought these and when I swatched them, I wasn't super crazy about them, but we'll see. So I saw a bunch of people posting photos of the uh, Tonic Winter release, which was a bunch of matte uh, polishes. And so all everyone was raving about how beautiful they thought these matte polishes were. And I'm not super into matte polishes, but the fact that people were just raving up and down about how pretty they were, I kind of got sucked in and was just like, you should buy some. Maybe they'll make you like matte polishes more. Aww. So when I swatch them, again, when I swatch these, when I swatch matte, when I swatch matte photos, I talk too fast and I jumble my words. When I swatched these initially, Keep in mind, I don't let them dry down all the way, and that could be a reason why I don't like them as much. Um, but I just wasn't super crazy about them. They weren't like wowing me. Um, they're just kind of a like shimmery matte polish, which nine times out of 10, if they're not super glittery, when they dry down, I often just put a top coat over them. So when they were like semi-dry, I wasn't overly crazy. So I feel like I'll probably end up putting top coats over these. And so it's kind of like, what's the point if there's, I, I feel like I have similar polishes to these. Um, so let me show them to you real quick. We have Winter's Night, um, which is kind of similar to that sapphire color, but it's a little bit more shimmery, but I don't think you're gonna be able to tell that here since my lighting is going. Um, so it's kind of a similar kind of indigo, but it's more of a blurple. And so it has a bunch of different colored like shimmery pieces in there. So when it dries down, you get a little bit of a, variation in the glitter, but it's not crazy apparent on the nail from what I remember swatching it. But like I said, if maybe when it dries down fully and I wear it, it might surprise me. So Winter's Night, uh, I also got Fireside, which is basically, these are all kind of the same thing, but just like different color variations. My battery's blinking at me, so this might get cut off and I might have to, you know, pick up here in a second. Um, so this one's just the red variation. So again, a nice pretty like shimmery red with a bunch of different like shimmery pieces in there. These aren't as like metallic, even though they're kind of showing up here. They're not as metallic. They have a lot larger, uh, shimmer pieces so they're gonna look a little bit more um a little bit more shimmery than they do metallic but that again is fireside and then the last one is let it snow which is the purple version and this one's just kind of a like warmer purple it's got a little bit of a flash uh in there so sorry that my lighting is going here um i don't know why that's coming up so cool this looks this is kind of duochrome -y to me it looks like it's a warm purple base but as you can see that that uh ultra royal purple color is showing up a lot so um i apologize that this lighting is not terribly awesome but i gotta get this video in because like i said i filmed this video like forever ago and it's super late so that again is let it snow let me know if you got the uh if you got any of those tonic mats let me know what your thoughts are because i think i'm judging them a little harshly on first swatch but i wasn't overly crazy about them so i don't really get what the hype was but let me know what you think so that is all the polishes. Thanks so much for watching. Again, I apologize that this is super late and I'm, I feel, although even though it's super late, I don't really have a whole lot of polish. Like I was gonna talk about some other polishes that I've hauled recently, but there's literally only six of them and I haven't swatched them yet. So I feel like I've definitely put a dent in my polish purchases. So I hopefully am, can wear most of the polishes that I'm, uh, you know, hauling so that we don't have as many of these like crazy huge haul videos because I should be wearing the polishes that I'm purchasing and not, you know, having to haul all of these polishes that I'm not wearing. So, um, that is that. So thanks for sticking around to the end of this video. Like I said, this battery is still blinking at me, so I might get cut off here in a second, but I 
actually uh, want to do that contest that I've been talking about for ages ago. So we hit a thousand subscribers like late last year and I just got way too busy and didn't get a chance to put up a giveaway to thank you guys so much for watching my videos and chatting with me about nail polish. I love the fact that I can sit here and talk to you guys about nail polish. I don't have anyone to talk about nail polish with in my life, so the fact that there's 1100 of you, 1100 plus of you that want to sit here and watch videos of me talking about nail polish I think is amazing and I want to thank you guys for being with me through you know the last like year and a half, uh, two years I think it's almost that I've been filming videos so this is going to be a giveaway. I have six prizes to, uh, to give away so all of the rules will be down below. Um, I unfortunately due to like my legal restrictions I can't uh, I don't think I can do this giveaway internationally so it's only open to US residents um, all of the what is this cat doing is he trying to murder what are you doing Ugh. Um, so US residents only I'm sorry um, you must be 18 or older um, all of the other, you know, stipulations will be down below for you to enter. I'll probably keep this open for, I don't know what this cat is doing. Ugh, I'm gonna have to go out there in a second. Um, all of the rules for you to read through will be down below. I'll keep this open for, um, I'll have it down below, but I think I'm gonna keep this open for like a week and then I will pick, um, I have six prizes to give away, so I'll pick six winners. Um, whoever I draw first will get first dib at all six of the prizes and then I'll let the next person know and the next person know and the next person know. And then, like I said, six prizes to give away. I can't tell what he, what are you eating? Ugh, these cats are killing me. Okay, um, let me go deal with what these cats are doing out on the patio and then I will be back to uh, change out this battery and then we'll also talk about the polish uh, package, the little polish uh, gift sets that I have to give away to my six winners. So stay tuned. These cats are killing me. Okay, so let me, give me a minute. I need to organize my polishes. As I'm organizing these polishes, I will mention that these, um, five of these polish gift sets are D stashes from my personal collection. So if you are uncomfortable with D stash polishes, I will uh, just keep that in mind that almost all of these are D stashes. So they've been used to some extent, most of them, um, I've only been used, if I, uh, I don't think any of these have been used more than once, um, if, if at all, so, um, I'll mention that as we're going through if I've used, if any of them have, like, significant wear, which I don't think they do, I will, um, I will mention that as we're going through here. So, let me go ahead and feature the first one, which is a brand new set. I have not used any of these. Um, I purchased, uh, an extra set of the Polished for Days, uh, not polish for days. The uh, for love for the love. Shh, sh these cats are driving me bonkers. Um, I purchased a brand new set of the polished for days um, uh, polish uh, for the love of polish box. So these were from November. Um, so we've got polish bend the light, which is a pretty like uh, navy blue kind of like scattered hollow. I think it had a linear hollow possibly as well. Um, my lighting is, my lighting is going, so I don't think I can really feature these to the greatest, uh, to my greatest abilities, but, um, polish for days. This is raindrops on roses from that set. And then this was the featured maker for that month, which was noodles, poli noodles nail polish, which was it's indie rock and roll for me. So this is a brand new set. It has not been, uh, it has not been, oh my God. <laughs> I am all over the place today. This has not, these have not been used. These are brand new that I purchased for the, uh, I purchased specifically for the giveaway. So that is set number one. Set number two, um, now going forward, these are all D-stash polishes. So I have a, uh, a England set to give away. We have got, let me throw these up here real quick. We have got uh, Rose Adagio, which is a just very light kind of nudish uh, neutral pink. We have Whispering Waves, which is a kind of teal with a, I think this has a shimmer 
it has a flash in it, I think. Yeah, it's got like a faint shimmer flash in it. And then this one is Angel Grace, which is a pretty kind of royal purple color with scattered hollow. So that is set number two. Set number three is an ILMP uh, duochrome set. We have got, let me put these up here. Trying to hold these with my hand. So we have got Bi Bi for Jensen's, which is a um, aqua. I'll, if I have, if I can find uh, uh, swatch photos of these online, I will list it down below so you can get better swatch photos of these if you want to investigate. Um, I believe this one is a purple to uh, aqua blue. So Bi for Jensen's. By for Jensen's, I think. Uh, this is Reminiscent, which is a green, uh, like, what is this? Like a green to blue. And then this one is Cygnus Loop, which is a um, kind of like blurpily purple to a, uh, to a purple. So like a warm purple to a like midnight bluish kind of blurple color. So that is the ILMP set. Next, we have a magnetic set. Um, I do not have, I'm not including a magnetic, uh, a magnetic, I'm not including a magnet with this. Um, so just keep that in mind. Uh, you will need to purchase a magnet for these, um, but these are all magnetic polishes. So again, I will, I don't remember all of the color things on these, so I will feature swatch photos down below if you're interested. So we've got, uh, this is Polish for Days Vitae. We have got uh, Drag Race from Tonic, and we also have Extravaganza from uh, Tonic as well. So I know those are gonna be weird because they're magnetic, so you can't really see the colors too well, but that is the magnetic set. I have also got a Polish, uh, Polish brand set. Let me shake these up a little bit because they've been sitting for a little bit. Uh, so we have got we have got the Fool, which is like a royal purple with really pretty pink flash. We have um, Saltwater Lagoon, which is kind of, it's not, I don't have a lot of wear on this, but it's just the, uh, it, it uh, separates a lot. Um, so this is a really pretty, just kind of like cotton candy kind of uh, pink with a really pretty linear hollow. And this came out in a For the Love of Polish box a couple months ago. And then this one is called Elder Wand. This came out in like a Harry Potter collection like months, like quite a while ago and it's somewhat popular but I just didn't love it um, on me. It's just a kind of like brown base with a uh, duochrome uh, shimmer shift. It shifts, um, shifts from a purple to a like blurpily color so very pretty and then the last set is going to be a polished for days set so we've got um i think these all um i can't remember what collections these came out on so we have uh liar or leer which is a light uh kind of pale blue we have ember which is a pretty um kind of like medium purple with a pretty shift in it and then we also have uh, Oki which is a green with a nice all of these have the the similar like flaky finish that polished for days does so again my lighting's going so look down below for swatch photos if you're interested like I said I'm gonna pick six people and then it's you know first person gets first dibs and then last person gets whatever's left and then um yeah that's the giveaway guys I hope you guys are excited as I am to give you guys some uh, some beautiful polishes from my collection I just want to thank you so much for being here and watching my videos and being so supportive of the channel and yeah I am not gonna make this video any longer than it needs to be I thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in my next one bye